You ready? You ready? Two years in the making. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Yuda Life. My name is Jaylene and I'll be showing you all behind the scenes of creating content for brands and local businesses. Today I am working with Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel, so let's go check it out. And we have arrived. Look how pretty this place looks. closets at the entry. There's this one. And then we also have another closet over here. It's like a little entry. Got my luggage in there. And then we have a bathroom over here. We have our sink, a bathtub, so we have a corner bedroom with a king bed and with amazing views of the city and uphill. So over here, we see Fairmont Hotel. We can also see kind of Alcatraz, the Koi Tower. See the Golden Gate Bridge over there. And heading to the window on this side, we see Hotel Huntington. There's the cathedral and the Sutro Tower. Amazing view of the city. Hello, it's been an hour later and I just got into this red gown. 
I bought this gown from Nordstrom for about $300. Really worth it because it's my first hotel collab, so I really want to do my best. And I'm about to go take some pictures. I'm back in the hotel room. We just finished making content for everything and we're watching the game. It's the Warriors versus Celtics right now. just got dressed into this white outfit this is from H&M La Benito and then this is as well from La Benito I'm about to go head out to breakfast so let's go for Jaylene Leslie Lida this looks so delicious. I got the Mark's Classic Breakfast. And Elise got classic the Classic Eggs Benedict. And it looks amazing. Was Hopkins, Stanford, mm -hmm. uh, Collins, and Huntington. So there's a Huntington Hotel next door. You oh, know. So, the Huntington. Yeah, yeah. They're named after the four barons, railroad barons. But, and Mark Hopkins himself was a very frugal man. He was an engineer for um, from the East Coast. Oh, but his wife convinced him to build this grand, grand oh, mansion. Fifteen. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away before it was finished. Oh, this building was built in 1926. The mansion was built in 1878. Uh, it was a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so the wife, you know, lived in it for a short while, and then she married a, um, a much younger man. He was the interior decorator for that big mansion. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is also one of her suites, and this one has a sunroom. Which, oh, um, wow. This is one of the unique um, aspects of the Mark Hopkins, that we have about seven of these terrace suites. This is stunning. <laughs> these rooms are very popular for um, weddings, wedding uh, couples. Yeah. How much does this usually go for? Well, nowadays it all depends on occupancy. Mm -hmm. So I think it goes from a thousand something. And then we have a bedroom. Closet. This is the view from the bedroom. You don't have to pay for pets? Unless there's damages, of course. Uh, yeah. So yes, we don't have a daily pet fee. 
the original Mark Hopkins. So that was the mansion that his wife built on this very site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she got married she, um, to the interior designer of this mansion and then when she passed away he inherited it and then he donated it to the San Francisco Art Institute. When the 1906 earthquake hit, you know, the most of the city was raised to the ground from the fires. Yes. Right, so the whole mansion fell, I mean, was burned to the ground except for the surrounding walls which still exist today. Art Institute built a simple structure in its place and then one day, George D. Smith walked by and said, I'm going to build a hotel on that spot. Constructed the Mark Hopkins. Nice. So the Mark Hopkins architecture is in the French Chateau, Spanish Renaissance architectural look and design. And it's winged so that all the rooms have a view. Restaurant bill was $5.91. Wow. Room was $8. <laughs> And this was a holiday menu. We're not mm -hmm. quite sure what year this was. Could have been in the 30s as well. Eight dollars. Yep, for a set menu. One dollar fifty to twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we still had those prices. I know. And we have two historic ballrooms in the hotel. One is called the Peacock Court. One is Room of the Dawns. Mm -hmm. And you know, we it used. Peacock Court used to be a supper club, kind of. They had, you know, like big bands playing in there and dancing while you had dinner. Still in the middle of, they're going to set up for another event. So that was the peacock that you At saw. At the stage. Mm -hmm. And then these murals are, have been there since opening as well. So these are uh, multi, I think they're probably worth millions of dollars now. They were uh, commissioned to two Southwest artists, mm -hmm. Anson, oh, sorry, Anson Weeks, <laughs> <laughs> Maynard Dixon and Frank Van Sloan. So they depict uh, California life, early California life, with the explorers and the influx of the um, Chinese immigrants to work on the railroads, etc. She's the legendary Amazon queen. These are local souvenir items mm -hmm. by local artists. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's for, you know, for a quick maybe gift, mm -hmm. last minute gift or something. So this showed, we used to have a round bar at the top of the mark. Mm -hmm. And are you familiar with the squadron bottle? Yes, okay. yes. A lot of the servicemen, uh, military servicemen would come up for a last drink or a welcome home drink. Mm -hmm. right. And this is actually the picture of the lobby. Oh. And you, you recognize the three elevators? Yeah. Yeah, so this was a line. To Just get to go up, on the elevator. <laughs> oh to my come God. up to Top of the Mark. At that time, it was estimated about 30,000 servicemen would visit Top of the Mark each month. It's now expanded to uh, anybody, you know, a, a, any civilian who wanted to uh, commemorate somebody who used to be in the military mm -hmm. or a civilian who wanted to express gratitude for a serviceman. Yeah, they just buy bottles for. And, and, and have these messages on the bottle. Or there, we also have log books that they sign as well. So do they always do these letters on them? I didn't yes. know about that. Yes, It's either a dedication or yeah, a simple thank you. And they would just leave it here for the next yes. person. Yes, whoever mm -hmm. is in the military can get a free shot. I think it started with bourbon, but now it's expanded to <laughs> all <laughs> Everything. sorts of difference. Yeah. <laughs> So Top of the Mark actually opened in 1939. 1939. Yeah. It used to be a penthouse for another, I think, mining engineer mm. who, something Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay. Yeah. So when he moved out, the owner, Richie Smith, mm -hmm. you know, just was trying to figure out what he wanted to do. So he decided to turn it into the cocktail lounge. Mm. But at the time, he mm -hmm. said his friend was Herb Kane. He was a San Francisco Chronicle writer for a long, long time. He had a column in the San Francisco Chronicle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they were friends. And he said, well, you know, do you think, you know, people will come up just for <laughs> drinks? Yeah. So he put in a dance floor to have music to make sure people mm -hmm. would come up for something. But a couple of months after the, it opened, they had to do away with the dance floor area because too many people were coming. And he also said, well, what should I name it? I don't know what to call it. And his friend Herb Kane said, mm -hmm. you know, he goes, I don't know what to call the lounge at the top yeah. of the mark. And he goes, well, that's it. Top, top, of, the top of the mark. <laughs> so this name was given to this little corner because you can see the Golden Gate Bridge 
from here. When it's not foggy. <laughs> yes, when it's not foggy. <laughs> so all the serving businessmen used to come up for drinks either mm -hmm. before deploying or after coming home. Mm -hmm. But all the wives and sweethearts We'll go over you know, here. Yeah, sisters, uh, mothers, they would stand there and watch the ship sail out from under the, by the bridge. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they would be, of course, crying, mm -hmm. right? So that's how it, this corner got its name, the Weeper's yes, Corner. I love